Good morning, good morning. It's nice to see you all. Hi, Connie Murphy. Uh, how you doing? I want to thank you for stopping by to check me out if you're a brand new person. Uh, not going to tell you what to do because I'm sure you hear it from everybody. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've just got a little simple makeup routine and a couple of things that are uh, in my empties and a little tip that's really working great for me so here we go the real tip is near the end of the video <laughs> so i'm going to a fourth of july party and i'm trying to decide if i'm going to stay all gray i haven't seen everybody for about five years so what i thought i'd try this morning was i took a dry mascara just one of my 99 cent tubes and I just put a little bit on the sides. Left everything white. Let me show you what it looks like without the touch up. I'm using a Equate washcloth and I'm going to show you why in a second. Let's just get that off of there. got up about 20 minutes ago just so I don't have any makeup on no foundation of course if I'd have done this in the shower it'd have been a lot quicker but now I'll show you I'm gonna rinse this equate uh, cloth off so I rinsed off this same wipey as you can see it's clear this is why I like to use wipies when I remove my makeup uh, it rinses right out not the mascara but everything else look at that and sometimes when I'm done with them, I'll just wipe down my toilets <laughs> or my, you know, bathroom sinks. This is what the package looks like. Let's see. Equate. I mean, I write that just in case somebody sees them in the bathroom. No flushing. Without the color. I think I'm getting used to the white hair or sparkles. <laughs> well, something in my eye. Okay, wanted to show you that. They come in a big box and there's 10 or 12 packs in there. Nice and sturdy wipes from Costco's. Okay, so here I don't have my eyebrows done yet, but I did take my e.l.f eyebrow pencil and I put a very thin line under my eyelashes. I don't put anything on the bottom waterline. When I was younger I used to put black in there but I think at this age it kind of closed them up. Even sometimes if I have it on the top, which I do have it on the top waterline, uh, I wonder if it closes up my eyes. So I just did a thicker uh, wing not even up well maybe up to the end of the, the pupils and that was it and then you know for staying in power I always have to put a, sh a shadow on top of my pencil so it'll last until I go to bed tonight so what I put there was gray I really like this 99 cent palette. Eh, maybe it was a dollar 99. Pretty sure it was 99 cents. Uh, 
and it even has a black there. So I take a little tiny wedgie brush. Let me flatten it out because I thinned it out even more. And I take that across all the eye pencil work. It's going to last all day. And I'll take my Milani, <clears throat> my favorite, you've seen it many times, number eight, seashell, and I'm going to sharpen it. Not to a real big point, or a real thin point, because the tip always breaks off, no matter what pencil I use. I like to go up and then down. Just like I do with my eyebrows. Cover my blood vessel. And I go slightly, oh, see, there's that dry skin. Uh-huh, flaking off. Well, I guess that's what's supposed to happen with peaches. Here you go. So they work. They work. Okay. And I'm going to take my number 5238 Cut Wild. Don't know what the color is because it's worn off. It's not as bright as the ones I always used to wear. Like this one. See the difference? But that's the one I'll wear today. There you go. My makeup application is getting easier and quicker, 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 easier, easier and quicker, easier and quicker, <laughs> easier and quicker. Uh, I guess as I mature, I'm even gonna do the old thing I used to see my mom do every single time she put lipstick on. By the way, I'm using the same washcloth or wipey that I used a little bit ago. And, uh, you know, maybe today I won't put any eyebrows on. Nah, I'm not going to. <laughs> By the way, that's, that's my favorite blush also although mine is powder now i have to be really careful when i use it with my 99 cent brush because i am keeping it higher and even that's a little bit lighter That's it, gals. Uh, let's see what else I have in store for you. Just gonna put a light touch of foundation. This does have a 15 sunscreen. I still haven't found a sunscreen that doesn't mess up my face. So I'm not gonna use it. I don't think Babs uses any either. Right, Babs? <laughs> okay. I am thoroughly enjoying the Equate Collagen Moisturizer. I put it on in the morning and at night 
after my peaches moisturizer. And as far as uh, my empties, my natural beige number 60 in Neutrogena. I don't know what I'm gonna use that bottle for, but I will. <laughs> I love this because it covers, it's buildable, and there's a little bit of a glow to it. Like I said, I don't have any foundation on today. And then what else? Oh, this had my retinol in it, cleaned it out, and I'll probably be using that bottle for something else also. Let's see what it looked like. The box, that is. Uh, there you go. I've shown you it before. What else did I run out of that I really love? I've got some coming in the mail soon. Vitamin C. Yes, indeed. And got another eye cream on the way. And another moisturizer. And I've got a tip or a secret or something. As I told you before, my skin is drier than a peanut. So I thought the other night, because I love the Jergens lotion, and I even add almond oil in my Jergens lotion. And as good as it is, it didn't keep me hydrated all day the way this did. I've been using it for three days Gonna put some on when I'm done. And uh, yeah, I love it. And I love the colors too. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm going to go and get dressed and I wish you all a wonderful week. And uh, don't forget that young gal inside of you. I gotta keep telling you that girls. <laughs> all right. Bye, everybody. Connie Murphy, over 70. Mm -hmm. So glam. <laughs> I only use it on my arms and legs. Mm -hmm. Bye.